Hi everybody! I'm doing a Zodiac Energy reading for Taurus for the month of September 2022. So I'm going to relax, tune into the energies, and we will see what the most meaningful wisdom and healing is for all of you for this month. All right, here we go. Okay. Taurus. September. Hmm. Feels like a couple of walls up and an invisible person trying to literally use their hands to remove the wolves and it's not working and this invisible person is dealing with invisible walls and the invisible walls are made out of the same density as the invisible person and so they can't get the walls to go away it would be like a physical person trying to remove a physical wall with their bare hands <laughs> it's a very interesting beginning Invisible person tries to remove invisible walls with bare hands. Can't do it because they're the same density. <laughs> what is this saying? Okay. Let's watch. There's three specific invisible walls. I see one, I see two, I see three. And you're working on the first one. And it isn't going anywhere. But you're determined. I say... Are you genuinely invisible? Or are you pretending to be invisible? I, I need to know the answer to this question. You're ignoring me. I, I choose to ask the wall. Wall, are you really there? Or are you just a tool? Maybe we're pretending you're there when you're really not. My guides asked me, why would an invisible person try to remove an invisible wall? What is the meaning of it? Try to, it's almost like bring them into reality. Instead of, instead of them being invisible, bring them into visibility, both the person and the walls. So what I do with the invisible person is I give them an appearance. I give them color and clothing and hair. And they're a, it's a woman and she looks like a cartoon. And she's a cartoon that's kind of always um, in motion. Almost like it's not um, a still frame shot. It's like um, redrawn, redrawn, redrawn and slightly different every single time. So it always looks a little bit um, like it's in motion even if it's standing still. And she feels bewildered. She feels without energy. She feels without strength. She, even the fact that she's a cartoon makes it so she's not um, solid or she's not all there. She's not in reality. She has nothing going for her. She's in someone else's game. Hmm. And there's uh, a new element, and it's an emotion, and it's consciousness. And the consciousness is full of anger. It's the emotion. And it comes out of nowhere like kind of a ninja in the, in the night. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere, grabs this woman by the neck, and is threatening her life now. And she's screaming. What's, what's interesting, though, is because this is happening all of a sudden and it's startling, she's actually working with a sudden instinct. Not with thought, not with emotion um, per se. It's like this sudden survival instinct. She didn't have to plan it. She didn't have to decide about it. She didn't have to say she could do it or she couldn't do it. She was forced into a state of being. And now she's trying to um, fend for her life. But this ninja is pretty relentless. And he's choking the cartoon woman. And the walls are watching. And the walls can do nothing because they don't have arms or legs. They're just walls. She feels helpless and alone. Not even the walls can help her. All the walls do is just stand there and be walls. And they never go away. And now she has a ninja that she has to deal with. And the ninja is threatening her life and she, she can't get out of this. 
What I like is she feels more alive than ever because she's reacting instead of almost like delaying, deciding, thinking. She's just in a state of instinctive reaction, thinking fast like a fight or flight concept. I don't like where this is going because the ninja can tell and it's male that he is overpowering, that he is stronger than her, that he can do whatever he wants. Um, he's uh, kind of expanding his mind to more ways that he can torment this cartoon woman. She's completely defenseless. She's just not strong enough. I'm going to add an ingredient. I'm going to help her discover that she's stronger than she ever allowed herself to believe. And I'm kind of planting a seed in her heart and the seed whispers to her that, that you are much stronger than this ninja. You decided that it, well, it must, it's a ninja, it must be stronger than me, therefore then it is. And now since it is and there's nobody to help me, I guess I'm doomed. You decided all these things in your instinctive reaction. You gave it a chance, you were defeated instantly, and you succumbed to the defeat. And now this ninja is even going to do even more terrible things. But you are stronger than this. And this ninja is honestly more invisible than the walls. Is more pretend, is more imaginary. You're letting something take over. You're letting something of your imagination to decide for you your worth or your strength or your future outcome <laughs> and it's threatening you it's, it's challenging you to admit how strong you are i'm not sure why you're falling into this weakness i mean it's falling into weakness beyond weakness it's just complete giving up without ever trying too many um Imagine it, too much imagination, not enough reality here. And so I'm going to try to help you, um, Taurus, with this because reality is really important to overcoming whatever you've got going on for September, okay? I'm working with grounded, practical, and um, boring reality. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, since I, I've planted the seed in your heart, you're stronger than you know. I'm going to plant the seed of good old-fashioned reality is with you. And all these invisible mo monsters and wolves and the invisible you, like, we're going to rewrite your story, okay? And we're going to rewrite it with a grounded, boring, old-fashioned fa reality, okay? Because in reality... We have to get up and the alarm clock goes off. We have to pay our bills. We have to wash our dishes. We have to do things. <laughs> Boring, redundant things, okay? <laughs> and we have to deal with people who never change and all these things that we complain about, right? It's the same old story. <laughs> Boring, redundant reality. I can't explain why I'm supposed to really emphasize reality is this way. <laughs> but maybe you're avoiding reality. <laughs> maybe reality is either more boring or too simple. Or maybe you don't want to grow. Maybe you're working too much in fantasy. Let's just keep following this through. I, I tell you, there is no ninja, and there are no walls, and you're completely visible. And stop playing pretend. This is better. This is, this is honestly a lot better. <sighs> the way the scene is changing is not what you would expect. You do look more like a real human being, but there seems to be a giant black crab. A monster-sized crab here, okay? In reality. Boring, redundant, old reality. <laughs> it's a giant black crab. And this, it does represent the real world somehow. 
And you're going to have to face this, and this really does look like um, you're up against something much bigger than yourself. It's better that you look at it through this lens, though, and be honest about it. Be as brutally honest. Don't, don't sugarcoat. Don't add in some extra words. Don't um, over-exaggerate. Don't make it as boring and as simple and true. True as true as true as true can be, okay? Make it super the truth. I want you to tell me emotionally the truth. In your story, you say, I'm made out of black. And as this black stands, there's something much blacker than me that threatens my life. This is true, okay? <laughs> Believe it or not, how this is translating is the most honest it could ever say it. I know it may sound strange, but the, it is on, vibrationally honest. And I don't know what to do, it says. And I'm ready to... <laughs> this is literally what it says. It says it feels like a booger that just got picked and now it must be flicked. <laughs> it said it in rhyme. <laughs> like, okay, I'm black. This is blacker. Now I'm a booger and I've been picked and now I must be flicked. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with this. I guess it's a gross feeling. It's a gross feeling and you don't know where you're going. And you don't know how valued you are you it's almost like you've lost the lottery it's like you have the winning ticket and then it somehow gets blown away in the wind into a big bonfire and everything you ever thought you had it just burned up in flames it just feels like you i keep hearing you lost the lottery and you're kind of like a leaf in the wind, but you're way worse than that. Hmm. Man, that's pretty... This is getting better. I'd prefer this. I can feel it more in my heart. Vibrationally, it's, it's speaking its own truth in its own creative way with rhyme. That's pretty cool. It feels like loss makes a good story. It's the real story of your human life. It's your real, genuine human story. It makes you one of a kind. It makes you unique and special. It makes you alive. It makes you a real person. Not an invisible, fake, or hidden up against. It makes you a real person. And we can cherish and we can value real people. Maybe it just needs to sit in, in a real reflection on life. Feels a bit of a heavy heart. Feels a bit defeated. It feels like we had a lot of bigger dreams than how this turned out. Feels like it needs to sink a little bit to rock bottom, but it is going to feel a lot better. Because the more authentic it becomes, the more real it becomes, the more breathable and sort of set free this feels. And right now we're just in the heart of it and we're feeling vibration in the heart of it. And we are accepting the raw, authentic, real person. The real you, okay? Hmm. Man. Hard to know where, <laughs> where these readings are going to take us, but that's the message for you for this September month. I hope you found it valuable. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Have a good month of September.